Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for an informative and exciting Princess Cruises webinar. My name is Johanna de Guzman. I'm the manager of industry relations, North American travel trade membership here at CLIA. And I'm just going to quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run for about 40 to 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the question module of the webinar, and we will get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Carmen Roig, to discover this eye-opening look at the future of cruising with Princess. Carmen Roig, Vice President of Sales for Princess, proudly tells anyone who will listen that she can talk for 20 minutes to a doorknob. So you're in for a real treat as the 30 plus cruise industry veteran shares the latest news about Princess. Carmen, who oversees trade relationships, business development teams, and trade marketing, joined Princess in 2022 after six years leading sales and marketing for ultra luxury operator Crystal Cruises. Previously, she held sales roles with Azamara Club Cruises and Costa Cruises. She began her cruise industry career at Carnival Cruise Line, rising through the ranks to become business development director for the greater Miami area. A longtime resident of South Florida, Carmen has been recognized as a leader in the industry with an unyielding commitment to working with the travel trade advisor community to be partners in profit. And with that, Carmen Roy. Office, which is where our studios are uh, and I always do my webinars from here so we really just want to kick it off we're supposed to show some videos so we get the videos on phenomenal if not we'll get them to you later I really always believe let's just get right to it which is the critical part um, so let's talk about really my voyage here at Princess has been very very exciting I joined last year so it's just over a year since I have been part of this amazing company. I, I think you heard in the introduction, I've been doing this for 42 years. They said over three decades or 30 years, which is great. I'm starting to date myself, so it's really wonderful. When I joined the Princess family last May, it was really with the goal to ensure that we strengthen our trade relationships with all of you, our very valued travel partners. And I'm sure you've seen this incredible logo, it's Princess Partners, but it really means a lot more than that. And the goal when I joined, and I did an entire restructuring of our sales team last year, was to really encompass what it is that our travel partners need, the commitment to you, right? By customizing different tools and avenues to really help you learn, grow, and get to understand the amazing Princess brand. So part of Princess Partners and princesspartners.com that we'll talk about shortly really talks about marketing tools, training courses, resources, everything that we've offered. So I think all of you know, uh, we do a lot with great sales tools like customizable flyers, videos, social media tools on our one source uh, cruises.com platform. We also have the award winning Princess Academy and of course Polar Online, which is our reservations platform. And then we've got Princess Answers. I think all of you know everything we've been through now, we're back in business. So how do we really make it easier for all of you to book our brand? So we introduce, and by the way, we've noticed we have a lot of new Princess partners, a lot of new agencies, a lot of ICs, franchise owners, and some of them really are not on our One Source Cruises platform. So it was really critical for us to create a platform that would make it very, very easy for you to kind of like just dibble and dabble, right? So this is the latest addition really to our commitment to you, princesspartners.com. And it went live the beginning of the year 
By the way, it is not replacing our amazing one-stop shop travel advisor portal, which is onesourcecruises.com. You really have to think of this new site as more of an invitation to those travel advisors who aren't currently engaging with us. We wanted Excuse to make me. it easier. Carmen, sorry, this is Johanna. I just want to let you know, could we see the PowerPoint there? It doesn't look like it's showing here on your screen. Okay, and I always say it's technical, Johanna, so I've got a deal that's <laughs> You're working completely on it. okay. I just wanted to make sure that Can you the see it now? Um, not yet. Wow. <laughs> you gotta love it. And I've been, I've actually been pushing it forward, so I'm not really sure. So are you still in the intro slide? Is that what we're looking at? No. So right now we can't see the intro slide. We did see the video, but then, um, it never went back to the PowerPoint. Oh, okay. So this uh, is here. always technical and we so love it. So I'm with Atilio and Atilio is in my office. So we're gonna share again, see if we can get this done. Perfect. And he's gonna hopefully get it done. Let's see, <laughs> I apologize. And normally we use a different platform when I do my webinars. Um, so we kind of have our own, uh, our own platform that we're used to. So my apologies, let's make sure that you can see it. Let me know when. Looks or not. like we're trying to get it up there. You were able to hear me though, right? Yes, we are able to hear you loud and clear. So I got to tell you, you said it at the intro. I could talk <laughs> 20 minutes to a doorknob. I was almost there. <laughs> Just not the graphics that go behind it. So my apologies. And we're still trying to get it up on our end. Um, but I mean, obviously, I, I'll talk a little bit. And once he gets it up, you'll understand what it's, what it's really all about, what our journey was. And what we, my goal at Princess when I joined was really to make it a pleasure to do business with us. You know, it's an iconic brand. I tell everybody when I started in the industry, it was because of the love boat, right? So we've actually doubled down on love and we've created initiatives this year that are really riding the coattails of our new brand campaign, which is, you know, come feel the love. So it is all about leaning into what our DNA is, which is really love. And what is it that you don't love about being on a cruise, right? So part of the commitment last year was also to restructure our sales team. So this is our external sales team to support our valued travel partners, really to go out there and make sure it's one size fits one versus one size fits all. Um, and, you know, coming back, everybody's getting back to service last year, uh, this year, proud to announce all 15 ships are in the water. So we're very excited about that. And more importantly, the introduction of two new brand, brand new ships to the fleet. So part of my presentation is going to talk about Sun Princess, uh, which is introducing. Sun isn't new to Princess. There's been other Sun Princesses in our history. But this is a whole new revolutionary new style of ship uh, that we're introing and we'll start sailing next year. So we'll talk a little bit about that, hopefully, if we get the graphics up. But the whole sales reorg was just that, to be able to manage the business and the portfolios very, very differently. We also added a vertical to our national account portfolio, uh, which really tapped into what we call the host channel. So many of you who are working or part of a, a host agency network, that way you got a dedicated set. We have three managers that work with our business development managers out in the field to make sure you have representation as you need it. So I think that was the whole reason we started this whole entire princesspartners.com website for those who had not engaged with our brand, allowing you to just come in, learn a little about the brand, hopefully register on One Source Cruises if you already aren't. And at One Source, you know, you'll see our robust sales tools, training, Polar Online, which is the industry's best booking engine, and a lot more, right? So this was the whole purpose behind this princesspartners.com site, uh, and hopefully you've had some access to it. So can you see my slides yet, Giovanna, or no? Yes, we can see the screen. However, it is not full screen right now. It's um, on the introducing princesspartners.com. Oh, yeah, so Atilio, you have to make it just not with the the back, the behind the scenes kind of stuff, right? Just, yes. the, re just the main slide, because I've got the slide presenter here. So did you see the next one, connect with princess? Um, I can see the slides on the left side, like when you are trying to edit the PowerPoint, but if we could get it full screen, 
and we'd be okay. great. Let me see if he can get it in full screen mode. And they're working out. We even have an IT expert here. <laughs> so normally I I do the swapping of displays would work it, but I'm not in front of. I'm actually running, not running the show. <laughs> so we'll talk about, you know, if I go back to that other slide, let's see. Anything yet or no? There we go. Perfect. We got it? So yes. I, I went, yes or no? You see? Yes, what we're at seminars, seminars at sea right now. Seminars at sea with the QR code. Fantastic. So we'll take it from there because the previous slide was about Connect with Princess. So what those are is our bi-monthly webinars. They're hosted by myself and Marsha Patrick, who is our director of sales in the Western region. And she also manages Canada for us. So it's really important because we do these every two weeks and really try to bring everybody up to source. So I talk about this whole evolutionary sales team uh, focus, which was really important. One of the things that we did is really go out to our travel partners and say, what do you want to see from Princess? What do you need? What are we lacking? And one of the things they said is seminar at seeds. They want to see not just experience the ship, but want to have educational courses. So we did have a huge uh, Love Fest initiative, which included seminars at sea. Now we have, these are the next three that are available. We had some previously, but they were all sold out. And I got to tell you, we had close to 2,000 when we're all said and done. There'll be close to 2,000 travel partners that will be experiencing our brand for the first time. That was the Connect with Princess webinar slide that I wanted you to all see because, again, all of these recordings are really accessed through onesourcecruises.com. So it's really interesting. So we talked about our seminars at sea. So let's talk about what we provide, right? It's really important that you have the very best resource to sell the brand. So we created this incredible piece, which is the Princess Experience. You'll see we always have QR codes for you to download the items, right? Because it talks about not just the history, but it talks about the onboard experience, our medallion class experience, and everything you need to know to sell. It's a pamphlet created for one-stop shopping, uh, really to welcome all the agencies and inform you and our existing partners on everything that's new with our brand. And then we decided to go a step further, again, basing it on the information you have shared with us, right? Many of you know Princess, but some of you or many of you might be new to the Princess family. And so we have these great tools uh, and again, designed just for you. And this is how we'd love to help you grow your business. Notice it all is part of the pleasure to do a business with Princess Initiative. This is a new piece. And I got to tell you, it has really allowed us to do a deeper dive on educational uh, you know, educational platforms and how to learn everything there is to know about our brand. And then this is another initiative. Yet we've been very busy, if you didn't guess it. So that was part of the 2023 transition. In 22, we developed a whole new sales strategy, shifted our paradigm, reorganized the sales team. And then we, one of the things, the biggest key factors that we were missing was what other people call an inside sales team. Well, keeping with the commitment our commitment to you, we created a Princess Partner Support Team, otherwise known as Inside Sales, right? Really critical because when we did this team and we launched it in January, what is it? It's really a team that's comprised of 15 knowledgeable specialists. So these are folks that have been with our brand for many, many years. They liaise with our business development managers who are on the road, by the way. They're, I, I, that was my, my goal. They've got to be in the field, working with each and every one of you as they need to. So all this team has done is it's really empowered to assist you with a variety of needs, including obviously polar online questions. They have there, you've got their the travel advisor dedicated phone number. You have your own email number, address as well. And then again, we are developing and continuing to expand this team. So I'm very excited because we talked about what is new. So obviously those are resources at your fingertips, but I wanna really shift about our beautiful current 15 fleet uh, of beautiful ships are fantastic, but I also wanna set sail into the future because in less than a year, I can't believe we're in the middle of July as it is, we will be introducing the beautiful Sun Princess, all new Sun Princess, the largest ship ever, and you've probably heard the name before. I said it's not the first time, right? This is the third ship with the Sun Princess name. And it's 
the first one that sailed from 1974 to 1988, and the second one was 1995 to 2020. But this is not your usual Sun Princess. This is the first of its kind ship. It's a concept ship. It was called Sphere class ship. It's our largest ever. It'll host more than 4,300 guests, 29 restaurants and bars, 21 decks, and really it'll feature more than 1,500 veranda staterooms. All veranda staterooms boast an in room sofa, really newly appointed suites and staterooms. So it's 2,157 total staterooms, including 50 suites and 100 connecting rooms. And again, this 21 deck Sun Princess ship features more outdoor veranda space and all veranda accommodations with these in-room sofas. Again, we also announced lately, this will be setting sail in 2025, her sister ship, which will be Star Princess. And she will have an inaugural on August 4th of 2025. We're really excited because she'll have a, a really a brand new sailing season of nine and 10 day med cruises from Rome. Uh, and we are really celebrating what these fear class ships do. What they do is they celebrate the views. Why is it that people go on cruises? By the way, number one reason, people cruise is still destination. But to see and be one with the amazing oceans and different ports that we travel to, right? This ship has been designed to be outward facing. So we celebrate stunning views. And obviously when you look at this incredible outward facing design, it really lets in natural light. So it's a unique iconic design. And again, designed to incorporate soft flowing lines, two unique spherical spaces. Uh, and that's what gave this ship and star princess that sphere class designation so we're going to talk about some of the normals that you're all used to so if you've sailed the brand you're very familiar with the, the piazza this is the heartbeat of the ship i absolutely love it iconic architectural features obviously that offer our guests again an outward looking space beautiful seating and it is a beyond fun experience. So we've reimagined some of our favorites, right? All of our ships, if you've been on the princess ships, you'll know you're going to get that incredible piazza. You're also going to get an international cafe. But what these new class of ships, both Sun and Star, have given us the ability to do is to locate these in different areas to, again, bring in the gorgeous outbound, beautiful lighting, okay? So international cafe is now located on the top deck of the piazza. And again, it's a beautiful place for our ever arranging changes of style. So people love to grab, I, I personally love to have my latte in the morning here, grab a freshly baked croissant to start my day or snacks throughout the day. So again, really phenomenal. And what we've added, which is new when we reimagine, it's this outdoor area. This is spectacular. We're on other ships, it's only been in interior space. Now our guest can step outside and enjoy the incredible cafe offerings, but in alfresco dining mode. Um, another thing new, our three-story Horizons dining room on Sun Princess. It'll be three stories. It's our main dining room on board, a first for us, by the way. It features dining options really to suit every mood imaginable. And again, the stunning weight views and natural light highlighting a decorative sculpture that you see there that stretches from deck six to deck eight. And each of the levels offers a different dining experience and your clients are going to want to try them all. So another usual favorite that everybody loves is our iconic crown grill right this experience goes to the next level with a modern sleek design and we did this theater style kitchen so we're featuring premium aged beef fresh seafood items and it's a specialty restaurant right so as a specialty restaurant it offers really an intimate dining experience in a classically elegant setting and again an open kitchen design where our chefs are going to prepare and cook to order top quality options from the menu. Again, we've reimagined. Sabatini's is another. By the way, many of you don't know that we have our roots in this Italian heritage. So this is our Italian trattoria. So we're on Sun Princess. It'll feature an inspired interior design. Again, intimate bistro style nooks and, and kind of areas, but it's still dramatic in its circular dining room way. And of course, the pastas all being made fresh every day and an all new pasta room with sweeping circular windows. So we're taking what we've got and bringing it to a whole new level. So when we talk about the Lotus Spa, 
again, reimagined. This is, you know, spa features on board. How do you make it different? How do you make it exciting? So we looked at how to look at the enclave and how do we welcome our guests into the spa on board, bringing them different experiences. So when you talk about the sanctuary, so this is really wonderful because many folks don't even know we have a sanctuary. It's a very quiet, distinct area on board. It's really a, an ability to take a bridge uh, and, and when you look at the bridging of what the Lotus Spa is to the experience of what sanctuary means, right? Take a break, indulge in a private getaway, okay? This is exclusive adults only, so I want everybody to know that. It's a retreat area offering relaxing alternatives, you know, really to the myriad of outdoor activities and entertainment that are available elsewhere on the ship. But every once in a while, I always love to say it's one size fits one, and therefore, that approach also means, you know, guests want to do different things. So the sanctuary is a perfect, perfect area that allow you to have this kind of experience, very private, adults only, but you also have your incredibly, uh, the stewards that are going to be serving you signature beverages, light meals. The Serenity stewards really attend to all the needs of our clients, of your clients, our guests, whether it's to be on hands to provide chilled, you know, face towels, or even if it's Evian water, whatever it is, whatever their needs are, they're there to take care of it. Uh, the Princess Arena. Now, this is beyond gorgeous. So it's a princess. Consider it like um, theater in the round is what I want to think about, right? This theater, our Princess Arena, is our most technologically advanced performance space. We can configure it in different ways. So even in the round, that's why I like to call it theater in the round. I think it's wonderful. And it is our crowning glory is this LCD wall that brings the productions to life. So there's just more ways that we can conf really configure this stage. By the way, it could have theater st seating that's really traditional, or we can do this complete theater in the round experience with the entertainment is at the heart of it. Absolutely gorgeous. By the way, you notice not a bad seat in the house, so we can do all sorts of, and when, if you do charters, meetings, and incentives, I'm very excited about this space because anybody who needs meetings uh, and incentive space could even use this for their groups. And then we are thrilled about the dome because this is in the very top deck. It's new on Sun Princess and you'll have it on Star as well. Then it's a unique design, which is punctuated by the dome. So it's cutting edge entertainment space and it is on the top deck and it's inspired by the tiered cliffs. You could see it by day of Santorini. So imagine, you know, this kind of area, it's a multi-level covered deck and it's a first of its kind with true glass enclosed dome ever constructed on a cruise ship. And there's the evening view of it, right? We have really evolved it so that you could do it by day. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you've got the indoor, outdoor pool and unique water features. Or if you do the evening, right, it completely transforms into an entertainment venue. It's got a South Beach vibe. And being a Miami girl myself, I love the 305 and I love the feeling that the gives because it's got state-of-the-art lighting effects and the ability really to deliver stunning aerial performances. So we've gone into an exclusive on Sun Princess, three spectacular original contemporary circus performance. So you can just imagine where they are and it's gonna be incredible. So we have blue, which is really very, very unique. These are all being created just for us. We have come fly away and art beat. Again, just imagine aerial hoops, aerial pole, bungee, all that excitement. And when I talk about, again, charters, meetings, incentives, could you imagine doing it in the dome at night with that kind of experience and feel? Absolutely amazing. Something new is our Sea View Terrace and the dock deck. So if you look at forward of the dome is this Sea View Terrace, and it's built above the ship's bridge. So imagine the expansive views. It, it boasts a pool, a bar jacuzzi, and again, what the ship is all about is bringing the ocean and the views, the stunning views of the sea on board so our guests can enjoy it. And then this is also new. There's a lot of new areas, and you'll see where they're public areas. We actually specify it. Absolutely phenomenal. We love, love, love the Wakeview Terrace. I mean, look at that pool. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is located on Decade Aft, and the Wakeview Terrace offers really optimal aft views, spectacular and luxurious sunrise to sunset, 
Again, see a theme, South Beach style resort deck with contemporary oversized deck furniture and infinity pool, which I absolutely love, which really has a fun yet sophisticated ambiance. And again, it is a public area and new on Sun Princess. Reimagine, everybody knows how amazing our Lido pool area is. So it's located on deck 17, again, with the two pools, the jacuzzis, and signature to our brand is the movies under the star screen. I'll tell you, having sailed it with my family, boy, is this incredible, because it transforms when we are doing movies under the stars. They, they transform this area with really comfortable lounge seating, beautiful platform, hot buttered popcorn. You could just imagine, really makes for an experience like none other. One of the things all of you have talked about is, you know, we think of, you know, Princess, by the way, has multi-gen groups on board. We have tremendous amounts of opportunities on board for the kids, depending on what age they are. And most people don't think of us as a family brand because, again, when you're owning love, love is our DNA, it crosses any age group, right? So we've created and reimagined our youth and teen centers on the beautiful sun and star. And you'll see Firefly Park for kids, clubs, a neon grove for tweens, and you will see underground. That's a teen lounge. I'm just gonna give you a couple quick ones. So this is Firefly Park. It's for the youngest princess guests. Imaginative space located on deck six and invites the youngsters ages six months to seven years old and their families to explore, play, and socialize. When you look at the Neon Grove, this is for tweens, and boy, I wish I'd had this when my kids were growing up. Same thing as our medallion class uh, ability and app to be able to know where everybody is. That is just such a feature. I'm dating myself, but I remember I used to have the, the walkie talkies to, to con really to communicate with my kids. Now on board, you'll know everywhere everybody is. But on the under, on the Neon Grove is for tweens, and then the underground is really for teens. And these are located on deck seven, two separate areas, but it's an inviting space for tweens and teens to hang out, right? So if, if you've got kids or if your clients have kids of these ages, you'll know it's a little different. Of course, both spaces, both of the areas, you know, very spacious. They feature colorful, comfy sofas, chairs, and of course, dare I say, PlayStation 5s, Nintendo, Switch gaming consoles. Okay, my son is 26 and he has a Switch, okay? So plus air hockey, foosball, ski ball, all the programs and activities that the kids really want. And then this is a really exciting new addition, uh, Park 19. This has been so very well received and folks are like, what is this, right? It's, it's, it's kind of very cool. It's mainly located on deck 19, which you'll see here, and you'll find a new type of space of activity, right? Uh, this is really cool, Sea Breeze Roll Glider. Again, public area, new on the ships. Again, we talked about it, we called it, because it's such a new type of activity center for us that we called it Park 19, and it's a great multi-generational space, again, with a variety of options for young and old. And so when you think of the Sea Breeze Roll Glider, uh, you soar like a bird. 19 decks above the waves of the Sea Breeze Roll Glider. It's really a first at sea. And by the way, you can even go for a ride now, okay? Because we do have uh, really like a virtual reality kind of preview of it. And again, it's just a taste of what you'll find. It's a wonderland for kids and adults alike, right? So it's a roller coaster zip line kind of experience. And it delivers that feeling of free flying in a completely safe environment. Uh, and I got to tell you, it's Super exciting. And then the net, which is a harnessed uh, area above deck 19 where guests are challenged to crack across uh, the bridges. And it's pretty cool. And then, of course, a coastal climb on the engaging climbing structure. So, again, we're just bringing, upping our game, multi-generational. Of course, we have the jogging track, which we have now already. It's about 240 meters. Uh, and so I think it's really exciting that we're just taking this to a new level. And then I've had, in Park 19, we also have the Infinite Horizon, all public areas. For those who love heights, that's not me, but many of our guests do. And it has this leaning tilt wall, uh, which is really cool because it's over the side of the ship and really allow guests to peer out from Deck 19 and just look down to Deck 9 and beyond. So really very neat. And then Splash Zone, right? So you've got Splash Zone, the net, the lookout, coastal climb, 
Again, whimsical splash area with pop jets, beautiful water sculptures. Again, Park 19, Deck 19. And if you want to take it for a spin, I love our QR codes. I want you to scan so you can soar like a board as well. And you can speak to it from a place of experience to your clients as you talk about this amazing new ship. Now, I'm going to go very quickly with some of the new categories because uh, we really wanted to have stateroom innovations, right? So we have new stateroom features in store for all of our guests and new categories. So this is really important because all of these verandas include an in-room sofa. So this is obviously a redesigned view from the ground up so you can see where the traditionally, you know, was only available in our deluxe balconies. Now it's available in every veranda stateroom on Sun Princess, about 235 square feet. So guess what else is new? This is a big deal. Everybody's loving this. What is it? The new glass shower doors. I absolutely, I mean, I've introduced a lot of features on this ship as I've been talking about it. And this is one of the ones that people absolutely absolutely are super excited about. And again, how about that we share with you that some princess will also fe feature a few single staterooms. So don't know how many yet, but more to come because we're doing like a drip campaign. And then the Cove balcony stateroom. These are a little different. They provide incredible views from the private veranda with the bathroom and shower and includes the sofa bed, but also they're located in a really unique area, right? These are located on duck deck six, just above the water. So just imagine the sounds of the water. And we, again, all of this came from research and feedback from our clients. This is what they wanted to see. They wanted to see something different. Our mini suites, about 303 square feet, absolutely gorgeous. Here's your reverse layout. You can get them in whatever option or layout they want. They have a new design with two different floor plans, which I think is great. It's about 303 square feet. Absolutely very, very uh, unique. And then we've created this reserve collection mini suites. They were formerly our club class accommodations on board this ship. All beautiful, right? Reserve collection, best located mini suite staterooms, premium category, right? So it features all the standard mini suite amenities. Plus it also have its own reserve collection restaurant, which I think is fabulous. Now this is where I wanted to get to our reserve collection cabana mini suite. This is absolutely amazing because you're going to enjoy breathtaking views in a resort style stateroom. So this offers not just your veranda, but a private cabana. So it's an extra large outdoor lounge space. By the way, this is what I will book, okay? The cabana features a unique outdoor furniture and an extra large private outdoor lounge space, right? So just look at this, just imagine. This area would normally be your veranda space, but now you've got that and then you have the cabana area. So really, that area becomes an extension of your indoor space. So it's an extension of the outdoor space, indoor space with the panel door, which can open to your outdoor seating if you want to. And this stateroom type will have an outdoor lounge as well, exclusively for the use of the mini suite guests. Uh, and so you'll see this private cabana deck exclusively for them, outdoor deck, and it's reserved for those who have these beautiful cabana mini suites, right? Absolutely gorgeous, unique outdoor furniture. Again, extra large, private outdoor lounge space and hot tubs. Very exclusive, very unique, and new on Sun Princess. And of course, our signature collection suites, I'll go quickly because these are gorgeous. And this is launching again exclusively on Sun Princess. It'll be a new level of suite accommodations. The signature collection, you'll see here the owner suite, 635 square feet, Beautiful amenities, including living area, single sofa bed, dining area, sleeping area, queen size double bed, master bathroom, on and on. And of course, also launching exclusively on Sun Princess is this incredible signature restaurant as well, private signature lounge as well. Two deck high signature lounge located on deck 15 and 16 at the aft end. So imagine the gorgeous views you could see there, you know, floor to ceiling windows so they could see the gorgeous views of the ocean, but most importantly, the wake of the ship. Absolutely gorgeous. All exclusive to Sun Princess. Really excited about the signature sun deck. It's a private area of the sun sanctuary. So we do share the pool with the sanctuary that you have heard me talk about earlier. But again, just showing you some of these suites, the penthouse suites, how it looks. I mean, this 
it blew me away. I mean, this is gorgeous, uh, including the veranda. It features spacious staterooms with verandas, seating area, sofa bed, the full bath with the tub and separate shower. So I talked about those shower doors because they have been very well received. But of course, we've heard from our guests that some of them still love the gorgeous you know, tub experience. So we want to make sure we included that in there. So there's your signatures owner suite. When you see this, uh, this diagram, it's absolutely, I mean, I could live in this, right? I'd never get off the ship. I'd tell you that right now. And so if you think about it, 635 square feet, incredible amenities, including that living area, dining area, sleeping area, master bathroom uh, with a bathtub, rain shower, the closet, the vanity is just above and beyond. And then our signature sky suite, 1,262 square feet, including the veranda. It has the gorgeous, gorgeous, luxurious appointments, expansive stateroom with the veranda. It features two bedrooms, two baths, one with a full bath, with tub, and a separate shower. Absolutely gorgeous. So I just want to make sure you see these luxurious appointments. It's an expansive stateroom. And again, when you think of the two bedrooms, two baths, what a way to sail in style. If you have a family, to me, this is a no brainer. What an experience. Again, we are upping our game with sun and star. And I thought it was really interesting for us to talk about this because many times most folks don't think of all of these luxurious features that we have in the ship. Uh, and again, because of the medallion class experience, our ships with the size of the vessels, they're very large premium ships, but the intimacy that our exclusive medallion class experience offers on board really brings service to a one-to-one -one ratio experience. So again, Sun Princess is in the shipyard. It is expected to come and it's, we're talking less than a year. I'm so excited. So there's a QR code setting sail in 24. Some of the maiden voyages that I just call out to you is obviously the 10 day inaugural Grand Med this February 8th. Look at these ports. By the way, we're doing the Med. If you look at all three of these voyages in winter, winter Med, it's the best deployment. It's now on sale. These maiden sailings as well. And again, when you're looking at winter in the Med, no crowds, just think of the cooler temperatures. I just think it's a spectacular time. I've done it myself with no crowds. It makes a huge difference. And then we just announced our Princess Perfect Wedding. So this is literally hot off the press. The Princess Perfect Weddings is really created uh, to have unforgettable moments. And by the way, none other than a most incredible ambassador that we've announced, uh, Randy Finoli, you all know him. He's king of bridal. I think you all know he does say yes to the dress and he's going to be sailing on December 3rd. He has his own Randy Finoli bridal themed cruise and this is a Western Caribbean voyage. And I'll just talk quickly about these packages because they are, you know, this takes all of the work you all make the commission on booking the cruises, but just think of groups, right? So all the packages include either indoor outdoor ceremony by the ship's captains, the florals, the wedding cake. If you've ever had to put together a, a wedding, you know exactly how turnkey this is with a dedicated photographer, memorable prints, the breakfast for the couple, gifts, goodies, you name it. And the pre-cruise wedding coordinator, which is really very important. There's three different types. There's the perfect pair wedding for just two guests, a timeless ceremony at sea that's up to eight guests, or you can really go big and do up to 18 guests. Again, the timeless wedding, I love it because it has bridal hair, styling, makeup, a dedicated venue to celebrate after the ceremony, uh, and signature welcome, welcome cocktails. I mean, I think this is just, and again, premium dining experience, absolutely phenomenal. And then I like that you can even take it, for not just weddings, why don't we do a proposal? We have a secret proposal set up in a private indoor or outdoor location. And my favorite, I just celebrated 30 years this year. So as I sail in December, I might just do a surprise renewal of love, the Renewal the Love Bow program. So this is really cute, absolutely gorgeous. And we have a dedicated team that we've created, just so you know. You can contact them. They have their own dedicated number, their own website. I've included the QR code because if you just have an inquiry, you might have clients uh, that want to do this. Let me tell you, what a way to, to create a wedding experience. And these price points, 
you can't even come close. And I kind of want to end just with our insider scoop because we have launched, we did this July 6th through September 5th, our score for 24. It'll be the absolute book early, save more, best offers that we have available. And it's now the time to book summer 2024 and beyond with all of these vacations. They're up to 40% off, if you can imagine. Uh, and then I'll just show you some of the seven day fares. This is incredible. $399. I, I had to do a double check here. And many of these voyages have where the third and fourth guests will sail free on these select voyages with just $200. Uh, so we've got lots of reduced deposits and just some of the ideas. While it's different, it's because it's the lowest public fares of the season uh, and lowest fares we've ever had this advance of departure. So now is the time to get behind it, showing you some of the available uh, and we're including Alaska, seven day Alaska voyage from 399, even cruise tours. And you know, we are number one in Alaska and there's a reason why. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to go after those clients who've not made it. We don't do bucket list here at Princess, we call them life list, but they might've wanted to go on a beautiful Alaska cruise. Now is the time, look at the savings compared to last year and then compared to the current retail fair. So we also have the Met on sale and this is on the Sun Princess, which I just told you how exclusive, unique, and gorgeous. And look at this itinerary, just a seven day med cruise. And these are interior rates, but remember we have fares available also, ocean view, veranda, suites, et cetera. It really is an additional discount if you decide to do some of these 14 night voyages. So there's even extra savings. And then Caribbean in our own backyard, right here where I'm coming to you live, even though we had those technical difficulties at the beginning, it's always technical. I call it Murphy's law when it comes to me. It's not how you fall down, it's how you get up. But look at these rates, 339 from Fort Lauderdale. By the way, folks, Princess Key, we had our own island way before it was popular to have your own island. So very exciting. And then again, look at the savings. And then I say it pays to plus. And I think we had a video here. I'm, I'm afraid of playing videos, but we're gonna try it. Let's kick it and then we'll talk about what it means when we say it pays to plus. So why do we call it pays to plus? Because you're getting commission on this. So let me just remind you, full commission, I highly recommend every single booking you make with Princess that you are recommending why it pays to plus. They're going to be, they're going to be doing drinks. They're going to be doing Wi-Fi, gratuity. They're going to save on things they're going to do anyway. And it really is important to say it pays to plus. And so why does it pay to plus? I want to talk about what it is. And, and when we talk about plus, when we talk about plus, we talk about the entry price, which is $60 per day per guest, right? So it's a savings of 54%, right? So with this program, I got to go back one. I got to go back one because I want to talk about it. Most of your clients, they're going to bring on a device on, right? So you got Wi-Fi access with your device. They're going to pay for gratuities, right? Uh, which is, you know, really critical. The beverage package. And even if they don't drink, folks, what does that mean? They might have lattes like I do in the morning, or they might want to have sodas, unlimited, you know, bottled water, whatever it is that they want. This is why it's in really important really important to recommend it. And I'll do the math for you, right? On a seven day cruise, $60 per person per day for Princess Plus time two, there is incredible ways to make commission. And by the way, you can recommend this up to the day before sailing, not when they cruise. If they do it beforehand, you do the math. I always say, if you're gonna have drinks, because this is what's different to ours, we created this. There's a scan on this incredible comparison chart, I highly recommend that you download it because we compare ourselves to other brands because I want you to know not all inclusive packages or bundles are created equally. 
Okay, really important to understand because ours, when they're doing either Plus or Premier, when they've got the beverage package with the drinks of up to $15, gratuities are included. They're not going to get an additional, uh, you know, charge for that. If you upcharge, let's say I want to, I want to hey, buy a $20 Carmen. glass of wine. Hey, I'll Johanna again. Carmen, it's Johanna again. Can we see the PowerPoint one more time? The can you not see it, Giovanna? Are we back to not seeing the PowerPoint? Yeah, we can. There we go. Now it's awesome. up there. Awesome. But did you see this? I want to make sure that they had the QR code. Yep, let's I go back to the QR code. It. I don't know where it went now. Can I We're just go back, Attilio? Because I want them to see the QR code for the bundle comparison. I think it's important. They can do the QR code. They can get it because our program is so, so unique, right? Uh, it has a lot that it includes. You know, I simplify it. If you know, if your folks like to have Mai Tais and they want Wi-Fi, it does pay to plus. And then I think I, I don't see it going forward, so I'll leave it on that, which is my Facebook page, which is really critical. But then I want to leave room for questions because I know that we had some technical default difficulties. But again, that comparison chart should be there as a handout. So I want to make sure everybody uses it. Uh, and downloads it could really our value it's incredible it's unmatched the value we offer with our cruise fare packages you know our offer is not only richer but it's a greater value so you can take a look at it with the comparison chart yourself and then again my facebook page i'll take questions because i know we have seven minutes and i said 20 minutes to door but giovanna let me tell you this is the quickest <laughs> i have done a presentation because of the technical difficulties Thank you. Yeah, you've done great. It's been very, very informative and very engaging. Uh, we do have a couple questions that came in when you were speaking about the kids and youth programs that you all offer on board. Uh, we do have an attendee that is asking, uh, is there a kids club open for parents to go with their small children to play or is it more of a drop off type kids club? It's a, it's one or the, you could do both, right? So if you want to be there when the kids, and that's the fireflies, because it depends on their age group, right? So if you saw, and maybe I moved too quickly through it, you could see that you can actually, as a parent, come in and play with them if you want to, because of the age group, right? So we want to make sure that we're doing a very personalized experience for them. And most people don't think of us as, you know, a kid's company, but we are. That, that's the beauty of love. We don't have to own everything, but love really goes across any, and we have so many multi-gen families on board. I said to the to the, the team on board from a marketing perspective, we've got to really scream this from the rooftops because we do an amazing job with these kids programs based on their age groups and with the medallion class access, just so you know, being able to know where your kids are because you tie in your, your, you know, when you do the medallion class registration to get ocean ready, we know who you're traveling with at any given time time you know where your kids are i mean that to me it's just such an incredible uh peace of mind really if you're a parent i wish they had it when my kids were little perfect thank you so much another question we had here was regarding uh, the seminar at sea event if there is any fees attached to that yeah so we do have uh because when we do seminar at seas we include plus because we really want you to experience the brand uh, even though it's educational, it's minimal. It's like TA rates, a minimal rate, but it includes plus as well. And I think the handout should also include some of those seminar seats. I'll tell you, I did not expect them to be so successful. They sold out. In, I mean, we had one voyage that had 250 of our very best travel partners sailing with us, really to learn about the brand. They're educational. And it's because hardware is gorgeous. I, I mean, I've been in this industry a long time. I don't think there's a bad cruise experience out there. But when you experience the ship and the service and what I call the software and the deliverables, that's where the unique selling proposition comes in. Great, thank you. Could you speak about the ADA accommodations and accessibility on board your new ships, Carmen? So yeah, so like, uh, you know, all of our ships, it's not just sun and stars. So we designated on the deck plans. And I think if you saw the pieces that I talked about on how to sell the princess brand, that pamphlet, as well as the princess experience, we have 
on those deck plans, the designated uh, staterooms. And we actually have a dedicated line within the res team that talks to it, helps you, walks you through whatever the needs are. I'll even take it a step further. We have gone, because we um, introduced last week on Ocean Ready, starting August 1st voyages on embarkation. We're doing away with dedicated embarkation times. We're doing away with group numbers. But when you are at embarkation on any of our princess ships, we have an accessible lane exclusive for any of our guests that have mobility issues and want to be designated as such. And so they have their own dedicated team at embarkation that checks you through to make sure it's seamless and the transition's very easy to get from embarkation on board the ship. So I highly recommend with the QR codes that you do get the deck plans, you can call uh, on board with really with our reservations team and talk to the team that works uh, hand in hand with you to be able to make sure that the experience for your clients, whatever the issue, mobility or otherwise, that we make it easy for you and very welcoming and that we embrace you. Great. Thank you for sharing that. Last question we had here, we do have a couple more minutes for um, a few more questions, but we do have some questions coming in about solo cabins, solo supplements. Could you speak on that? Absolutely. So you you saw that I mentioned on, and more to come on that because we're doing like a marketing drip campaign just so that you know, um, which is really cool because at the end of the day, you want to know what's happening. I didn't want to give it all back. I'm, I'm, I'm leading, I'm ending with the thank you, but I want to talk about solos. We've always had solos and the, the rate could go anywhere from 110% to depending on these solo state rooms, right, that are dedicated just for singles. So on any given voyage, even if we don't have a discount, you have 200% of whatever the rate is and we can dedicate it to solos. But we also have dates where we have reduced uh, solo uh, rates, but more importantly, we even have flyers on it. So if you're not on onesourcecruises.com, you do need to be because you can download all of these assets, including the dates and rates where we're offering solo um, travelers real exclusive specialized pricing but on sun and star they'll have their own solo stateroom so i can't wait till they actually unveil that um because i know there's a large number of our travel partners that have clients that really take advantage of solo rates so more to come on that especially on the new ships very very exciting know that this has all been very great information the presentation since we are having some technical difficulties with GoToWebinar, carmen could you just share um the the contact information for our attendees if they do have further questions or want to reach out about possibly receiving the qr codes again absolutely so i think you know we started the presentation with princesspartners.com because obviously that was our commitment to you so let me give you because they have their own times and their own phone number so let me give you the number so you know where to go and also more importantly uh ensure that you have the email but we can post it as well so the travel advisor phone number is 833-437-0295 their hours are Monday through Friday. Remember, this is a brand new Inside Sales Princess Partners at 14. And then the email is partnersupport at princesscruises.com. I'll repeat that, partnersupport at princesscruises.com. And one of our Princess Partner Support Team members will respond. You can call them, you can email them, and they can even put you in touch with your business development manager. And I'll go a step further visit princesspartners.com because if you've never registered with us on one source you can still see all that we have available for you through the princesspartners.com new website awesome that was very very helpful i know that there have been a lot of people a lot of our attendees just raving about the presentation but they do want to get their hands on that qr code Absolutely. so Yep, so that is perfect. And if you don't have anything further, Carmen. Um, I just want to say thank you on behalf of our 30,000 plus onboard team members, officers, shoreside employees. Thank you for your support. You know, we love our travel partner distribution channel. We're here to support you. We're committed to you. But more importantly, we want to be a pleasure to do business with. We're at your service. Thank you so much. And thank you for your patience today with the technical difficulties. I've never spoken this fast, Javon. I can tell you that right now. So I'll take a breath <laughs> after. Great. And it's thank been... you for all your help. Uh, yeah, and Attilio, my, my guy in-house. In thank you all. 
Yes, yes. Thank you so very much again, Carmen. It has been very informative and engaging. Again, we do apologize for the technical difficulties that everyone has been experiencing um, in our webinar today, but rest assured the recording has been recorded and it will be uploaded so we can watch it again. Um, Carmen, thank you for providing that contact information and we hope to see you all in the next webinar.